Hi guys, this is Banjo, and today I will be bringing to you guys a deck profile of my yellow green Attack on Titan deck. So, onto the cards. The first card I run, oh, the other ones ran away, uh, is three of the zero zero green uh, Levy sitting down on his throne or chair after he broke his ankle. This card's really good. It has the ability that it gives all your corpse characters a 500 power boost, so it's basically a global booster. So if you have two of these in the back, you're giving everything that has a corpse trait a 1k boost. And it also has the ability, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you can choose one of your opponent's character in the center stage, so as long as it's in the front, not in the back, and give that character minus 1k power until the end of the turn. So this card is really good. You can probably get a um, the 1k boost thing if you guys didn't know for wise. If you reduce your opponent's attack to zero, they die or they get sent into the waiting room. Um, usually, the stuff that you get away with, like with this effect, killing and stuff, is like stuff with bond or like other like stuff like suicider. Sometimes they have really low attack. You can get rid of them with this, or you can just give something minus one k and get over it because now they have less attack. But three of him, he's really good. The next card I run is three of the zero zero green uh, Haji, uh, Hanji. Really good card. It has the ability when this card comes into play, you can pay one, discard a card from your hand, and basically search your deck for any uh, Titan or Corpse character and add it to your hand. Really good card, especially if you want to get stock, um, want to like play around with your uh, stock because. Sometimes you get climaxes in there and you're trying to get them out. Or sometimes you have certain characters that go in there and you want to get them out so you can like shuffle them back into the deck or, you know, just like salvage them and stuff like that. But really good. Um, especially the, the only thing that kind of sucks is it activates when it comes in, but it almost always works. So three of her. It's just a search, the search allows you, especially late game, this helps you out more late game than Early. It helps you out both, but late game it helps you even more because you can get all your level 3s and your level 2s and stuff. So, really good card. Three of her. The next card I run is three of the green 0, zero uh, Petras. Really good card. Um, it has the suicide or bomb or reverse ability, whatever you want to call it. Really good card, um, but basically for this one, whenever it reverses, it's basically, it's a Suicider, but, well, um, you guys know how Suiciders work, right? If it gets reversed, if whatever's fighting it is a zero, uh, they both die, but this one, instead of sending it, or instead of just reversing the character, oh no, she's sideways now, instead of reversing the character, um, your opponent uh, takes the top card of their uh, damage or their clock, and puts it into the waiting room, and then puts the level 0 that got reversed in there. So it's really good because now your opponent can't encore stuff, so you get rid of them that way, especially if they have big walls. So obviously it's a suicider, you get rid of big walls with it. Really good card. You always just ram into stuff with it. Next card I run, you can either run 2, 1, or however you like it, but I run one of each of the Brainstormers. The Mikasa Brainstormer is uh, whenever um, its ability, it's a 0 0 red, and its ability is whenever one of your uh, characters moves to another spot during your attack phase, that character gains 1k power. There's a, the level 1 game, which works really well with this because you can just leave it in the back like a Brainstormer, and then they move stuff around and then it gets a boost. It also has a Brainstormer ability, which is pay 1. Mill the top four cards of your deck, and for any climaxes you get, you can choose one corpse character from your um, from your graveyard and add it to your hand. So you're basically salvaging, and then you discard a card. So you're basically just replenishing your hand. So really good, especially at, with the level one game that I play with this. It helps out a lot. Plus, since you only have to pay one, you don't have to rest or anything. Her ability is spammable, so you can just pay one. Like if you want to like mill out your deck so you can refresh. You have the option to do it with this, especially if you have a lot of stock. So, one of that. And then the Aaron Brainstormer thing. Its ability is, uh, during your turn, this card gives whatever's in the middle, center position, one, uh, 1k boost. 
So it allows you to give an additional 1k boost to something, especially if you put in the bag just to brainstorm. Uh, it's brainstorm abilities. You pay one, rest it, mill four. If you get any, if there's any climaxes among them, you basically get a search your deck for a corpse character and add it to your hand. So really good, especially since there's no minus. You just plus off it basically. So you can run either or if you want. It's totally up to you, but I run one of each, and it does work out a lot. That's, no wait, There is there any level zero? No, there's one more. The last level zero I run is four of these zero zero yellow Annies. This card's really good. Its ability is if you have two or less stock, this card gains 1,500 power. So I have, obviously if you go first and you just leave one of these in the front, it you attack, you obviously have one stock, so it's a 4k beater thing. With the levy in the back, you're seeing at a 5k beater, and then if you play Climax, you're looking at a 6k beater. For level 0, that's really good. Especially with, like, Brainstorms and the level 0 uh, Hanji, you can play around with your stock and, like, just make this uh, your beater for level 0, or your wall, if you want to call it, at, like, 4k, 5k. Really good. Run 4. Yellow level 0s. On to the level 1s. The first level one, run, one I run, dude, that's a tongue twister, is four of these level one zero yellow uh, errands. Really good card. Um, it has the ability during your turn, this card gains 500 for each of your corpse characters. So if you have a full field, you're seeing him at 6-5, boosted 7-5, climax 8-5. So he's pretty big. And the, the only thing that sucks is he gets the boost during your turn only, because if he got the boost during your opponent's turn, he'd be super broken. And, like, stupid. Because he also has the damage Encore ability, which is basically whenever he get whenever he's reversed during your Encore step, you can just basically take a damage, and he restands, and then you can attack with him. So he gets big during your turn, your opponent kills him, you take a damage, and then he comes back. So four of him, really good. The next card I run is four of this uh, level one zero Armin yellow thing. And I also run four of the Climax combo things for it. So the Climax is when you trigger it, you give two souls to something. And when you play it, you give all your characters one soul and you basically get one yellow card from your waiting room and put it into stock so you get a free stock so this Armin is a vanilla thing until you play the climax so it's like 5-5 five, five beater thing but when you play the climax he becomes really good so um, his climax combo ability is you pay one when you have this climax uh, he gains 2k until the end of your opponent's turn and he has the ability, um, at the beginning of your opponent's attack, attack phase, you can choose him and another one of your characters and switch them and stand them. So basically, um, he, this Armin's going to be at, uh, at 8, boosted 9 during your opponent's turn. No, wait, up, not, not 9, is it? No, no, it's at 8. Yeah, it's at 8. During your turn, if you play Climax, you can get him up to 9. But during your opponent's turn, if you have the levies behind him, you can see him at 8, um, 8k attack, and basically you just swing around with them. That's why I also you can also run the, or it's up to you guys for the Mikasa Brainstormer thing, because once you move, um, both the cards that move gain the ability, so now you're seeing it, like, get a, a 1k boost off it, which is pretty good. It, it helps you out at times. But yeah, but it's still pretty good because you get to move around. If your opponent's like trying to kill off something that you have with lower attack, you can just move around and try to save it with Armin. And then he cries. That That's his hidden ability. Uh, the last level one I run is two of the uh, level one free event punch the 3D maneuver gear thing. Pretty good card. It allows you to uh, search your deck for one corpse character. Reveal it to your opponent, um, add it to your hand, and then discard a card, and then you can choose one of your uh, corpse character and move it onto an open spot on the stage. So basically, it's really good because it helps you search, and then after you search, you get to discard, 
and you get to search for anything you want, any level 2s you need, any level 3s you need, and then you can potentially, like, let's say your opponent killed something, and then that spot's open, and they're trying to attack with, like, a level 0 or something, you can just put that to move one of your higher attacking guys over there and basically protect that spot. Or if your opponent just played two characters and then they're open attacking in like an open space, you can move it with that. You can do that or you can just, um, let's say your opponent has an empty slot, um, spot in their side, you can just move it out of the way so your character doesn't die. So two of these, really good. You can play anything you want. You can play the, because it has three different art versions, you can play... The one you want to play the most. On to level 2's. The first level 2 I run is 3 of this level 2 pay 1 yellow Armin thing. Uh, pretty fun card. Um, if the if you have 2 or more characters with the corpse trait, he gains a 1k boost. So as long as you have 2 boosters in the back, he's, he's always going to get the boost. So if you have 2 levies in the back, you're seeing him at 8-5, 9-5. So now he's at 9-5, climax 10-5. So he's basically your beater, but he also has a really fun ability, which is when this card um, trigger check reveals a climax, you can give this character 4k power and one soul. So like I said, the two levies in the back, he's at 8-5, boosted 9-5, climax 10-5. So you can potentially attack, and then he will become a 14-5 beater thing. And even if like and. Sometimes your opponent's like, oh, I'm going to save my punch so I can get over this guy. And then you trigger a check and now they can't get over it. But really good card. Especially if the when, when the effect um, triggers, it's, it's, always, it's always dumb. You just trigger a check and now you're huge and you gain a soul and you're going to wreck them probably. Unless they're huge. But that, that's another thing. The next card I run is three of the level two pay one. Levy Stomp the Yard, pretty good card. Um, it has the ability, if you have four or more characters with corpse, you can call them out one turn early. So basically, if your field is kind of full, if we'll, you'll, like, let's, well, obviously, if you have four, so two in the back, two in the front, you can call them out a level early. Um, if all your characters are corpse characters, he gains a 1k boost, so now he's at an 8k thing. Boosted with the other booster levy, you're seeing it at a 9, climax 10, really good stuff. And then he has the ability when, whenever he attacks, both players cannot uh, use the backup ability from hand. So your opponent cannot drop anything that says it's a backup, so like the punches and stuff. So he's really good, especially since you can get him out at, at level 1. You you basically just have a beater. You can beat down your opponents, and you don't have to worry about. You don't have to worry um, if they. Um, you don't have to worry if he drops any backups because they can't. So yeah, he goes in for solid damage. He's pretty good. And then the last. Oh uh, no, wait. We have more still. Uh, just one level two pay two of the chibi levy thing. Its ability is if the number of courts characters you have is one or less. This card. Cannot be played from your hand, but like I said, if you have two boosters in the back, you can just play him, and he's a 10-5 beater if you have the levies in the back. Then yeah, he's just a beater. That's what he's there for, but you you have to pay two for him though. It just it just happens that sometimes at level two you just need like something big to beat down your opponents with. So just one of him. And the final card I run for level two game. Two of the level two pay one yellow titan power or Aaron biting himself punch thing. Really good card. It's an event punch. Its ability is you can choose one of your corpse character. And until the end of the turn that character gains 4k power. And the ability when this card battles opponents become reversed. You can put that card into your opponent's memory. So you can drop it during your opponent's turn to boost something. And as long as you can kill him. Or as long as the 4k boost allows you to be higher, uh, higher attack power than he has. Or she has. Uh, you basically just. Instead of like just reversing it and it dying. It gets into memory. So pretty good card. Because you can probably get rid of some of your opponent's walls with this. And you can also play these during. You can play event punches during your turn. But they have to meet the requirement. I believe. But this one does. It gives something 4k and then the ability. So you can play these during your turn. It's pretty stupid. Give your 
Aaron's and Armin's and stuff. Like huge boosts. The next card I run is two. Because now we're on to the threes. Two of this level three paid to yellow Armin. Pretty good card. It's a it's the ability is it can't be targeted by your opponent's effects. And then all your corpse characters in front of this gain a 2k boost. And they cannot be targeted by your opponent's effect. So if you have the two of these in the back, the middle gains 4k and the sides gain 2k. But your opponent can't target them with, the, with effects. So that's a really good added bonus. And they can't target him either. So he's going to be in the back crying and stuff. And no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But pretty good. And then its final effect is is when this card is placed onto the stage, you can look at the X top, um, the X amount top, the X amount cards of your deck. So um, the X amount and the X amount is equal to the amount of corpse characters you have. And then you choose one of those and add it to your hand and then discard the rest. So basically, you know, you just play them. If you have a Field, full uh, full field, you can just basically, like, mill four. And there you go. And then you look at them, add one to your hand. So, really good effect. Especially late game, this thing allows me to add all my level threes and stuff. Or just anything I'm missing. So, I, like, play them. And then look at the top, whatever. Some, I always have, like, two or three at least. And then I gotta choose one from them and then add it to my hand. And then send the remaining ones to the waiting room. So... Really good, and it, it's just dumb. It's a big booster, and then, you know, you your opponent can't target your stuff. Next card I run is just two of the level three, pay two, Aaron. Level three, pretty good card. If your, your opponent has a level three or higher on the field, he gains minus one level in your hand. So, you can come out of level two if your opponent has level threes, or if they change and stuff. Um, his next effect is he gains 500 for each of your corpse characters. So basically, if your field is full, you're seeing at a 2k boost. So he's at 11.5. And then, depending on what you have on the back, he can become a big beater thing. If you have Armin and he's in the middle, you're seeing a 4k boost. So now you're seeing this thing being huge. It's like at 13.5 and stuff. And he can't get targeted and stuff. It's really good. And then it's final abilities when this card is placed from your hand onto the field. And you can only do this ability once per turn, so no multiple copies at once. But basically, when your opponent cancels the damage you're dealing to him, you burn him for one. So it can also be a game ender kind of thing if you want. But the last card is a true end gamer to the deck. Dude, something fell. It's the enemy stand. So the last card I run is three. Or not three, four. Of the level 3, pay 2, green, levy level 3. Really good card. And then, if you guys are wondering, the last climax I run is the gold bar one. You know, when you trigger it, you add this to your hand. And you put the top card of your deck into stock. And then when you play it, you give 1k, 1 soul to everybody. So, this levy is really good. Its ability is, like, freaking amazing. It's your finisher kind of thing. Um, its ability is you can, when when you play them, well, not when you play them, but um, when you have this gold bar, you can do the climax combo, which is you basically discard a card and you choose a card from your damage and put it onto the field. So you're essentially healing and you can get around like Kantai collection and stuff because it doesn't get sent to the waiting room, it gets placed on the field. So pretty good. And then its final ability is and it only works when you play them onto the field, so you can't be like, oh look, I have an encore and then do its effect again. But its final ability is you can pay three, put a corpse character from your hand into the waiting room, and uh, basically tribute one of your characters or send it to the waiting room. And then during the turn that this card reverses something, you can basically pay three to restand them. So he's a restander, especially with the Ar Armin in the back, you can get up to like 14. The Climax 15, and then if you play the Event Punch, you can get him to like 19 and stuff, and then he can restand and banish stuff, so, really good, and just play four of him, he's basically your end game. So, that's it for this video, like and subscribe and stuff, we'll bring you more, we'll bring you some red stuff sooner or later, but that's it for this video, so, like and comment and stuff, and have a great day.